Super Rugby Round 10 is here. The buys are done and dusted. We're back to the full complement of fixtures or games per weekend. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Six games, two on Friday, four on Saturday. This, this begs the question again to give us a Sunday game. Um, but man, that's for the higher ups. New CEO been announced. I forgot his name. I should know it. This week he was announced. Jack Measley. I think that's how you pronounce his surname. Um, if you're listening, mate, give us a Sunday game. Not four games. Don't overload Saturday. Give us a Sunday game. And now like Anzac week, give us a game on Anzac Day on Thursday. Why not? We're all off. No one's working. Let's watch some footy. Let's watch some rugby, man. Oh, um, like I said, buys are all gone. Back to the full complement of games. How will teams react coming off the buy? Well, like we've seen, it either goes good for him or it goes bad. It's one of two ways. It, that's rugby, though. So it doesn't really matter. Who knows? Um, before we get into it, hit that like, subscribe. You don't want to miss. You don't want to miss this. You don't want to miss this. So hit that subscribe. Helps me grow the channel. Helps me... It helps me a bit, man. It helps my ego, but <laughs> but let's let's get into it. First game, Crusaders versus the Rebels. Um, massive inclusions for Crusaders. Scott Barrett back in the mix, uh, captain armband, like captain, fantastic leader by example. Scott Barrett, he's massive for them. Um, Rivers Rihanna starting at ten gets the nod over Hohepe. And McNichol comes in at 15, and Fayaki's on the bench. Um, exciting, man. Exciting. Rebels, Josh Cannon comes in at lock. Um, the same backline, which is great. Good for their continuity. Good for consistency. And then their captain, Rob Lioda, is back from injury. He's on the bench as well, which is great for them. Rebels sitting pretty in top four. Uh, Crusaders right down the bottom. It is a home game for Crusaders, so Rebels are on the road. They're not the best team on the road, uh, but they're all playing good footy at the moment. They got the momentum behind them. Crusaders, man, Scott 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 Barrett is back. If someone like him being back in the team doesn't change something, oh man, I don't know. They've made a few changes, like Johnny McNichol coming in um, to start at fullback. They need to they need to show something at home at Christchurch. I'm pretty sure it'll be near sold out because that fan base is so loyal. Um, I'm gonna go Crusaders here. Crusaders by 12 to win this one. Yes, Rebels have been strong with momentum, but man, it's really hard to go win at down in Christchurch. So I'm going Crusaders by 12. Waratahs versus Chiefs. Um, Tars changes in the forwards. Amatusero comes in. I think he, that's pretty sure he's starting his first game at lock. Or he might have started the first game on the Super. Not sure. But I'm pretty sure it's that. Hannigan comes in at eight. So they've obviously gone for more line-out options. Uh, maybe to attack the Chiefs' line-out. Um, Mark Nawanga Nitawase comes in for Dylan Peach. And then Joey Walton in for Parisi, who's on the bench. Tane Edmead still gets his 10 position. Um, with Will Harris, man, chomping. Harrison chomping at the bat to go for him there. Chiefs, Jacobson out. Uh, Boshia comes in and captains as well. And then that back line, man. Oh, my captain and vice captain. My captain in Daniel McKen... Oh, Daniel. Damien McKenzie and Etinana Satoru is my vice captain for Super Rugby Fantasy. Um, and then good to see Quintupai back in. He's on the bench. Man, it's a just dangerous team and dangerous backline. Um, Tars obviously desperate for a win. So is everyone. Even if you're Hurricanes, you're desperate for the win. Even if you're Chiefs, you're desperate for a win. Chiefs want to carry on with the, their momentum, especially getting into this the, the business end of the season. Chiefs at pretty much full strength here, and that's a dangerous team, man. D-Mac to run the cutter, to be the... To be the man there in the middle, just calling the shots. And when he's on song, the Chiefs are really, really hard to stop. So I'm going I'm going Chiefs by eight to really just sink the Waratahs almost. Chiefs by eight. Moving on. This is the game of the round. 
Fiji and Drua versus Moana Pacifica in Lautoka at like, I think it's a two o'clock kickoff in Fiji. I'm pretty sure the game sold out already. How good, man. Fiji and Drua got their big guns back. Darren Alangi's back starting captain. Um, Ikenaveri not, not starting, which is, he might be injured. It might just be rotation because uh, he was one of their best last week. Armstrong Ravola comes back in at 10. So good, man. Vota comes back in at 12. And Drossesi comes back in to start at 15. For Moana, pretty much unchanged, but I'm just loving the 8, 9, 10, 12 combination, man. They are so massive for them. Avili Talatui, captain. Captain fantastic. Strong with ball carries. Strong in the ruck time. Tackles, just everything. Um, Inari and Havili, really good for their direction, um, calling the shots. And then Julian Savia, just the man in the back line, getting them over that advantage line, taking those strong hit-ups um, and scoring those tries, man. How how good. A battle for the Asia, a battle of the Pacific. Huge game in Fiji. Um, Pacifica beat Drua earlier in the year um, at Super Round, I'm pretty sure it was. So Fiji want to get one up on them. It's going to be a massive, another one up on them. It's going to be a mass, a huge game. Almost season defining for Fiji, I feel like. Um, but I'm gonna I'm backing Fiji here at home. I know they lost last week, but they'll want to come out firing here. So I'm gonna go Fiji by five. Brumbies versus the Hurricanes down in Canberra. I would say it's gonna be cold, but it's a two o'clock or no, is it an earlier kickoff? Like a five o'clock kickoff? Um love that. No, it's a even earlier kickoff. Three o'clock kickoff, I think it is. Love that. Um, for Brumbies, Alan Alatoa is back. Len Ikitao is back into the mix. A start for Rory Scott at seven. Um, and they'll want to bounce back after a poor, 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 shocking, almost embarrassing performance last week versus the Blues. For the Hurricanes coming off, they eight from eight, man. Firing, flying, untouchable at the moment. Massive loss in Almuo is injured for six to eight weeks, so Jay, uh, O'Reilly keeps his spot at two, um, Karifi gets the nod over Lakai, maybe they're still just squad rotating out, or just uh, rewarding him from last week's efforts, he was fantastic for them last week, uh, Morby and Proctor rested, um, with Rayasi coming in, and then Peter Omanga Jensen coming in at 13, nothing is stopping the Canes, I don't think the Brumbies even in Canberra is stopping the Canes neither, Man, they've been so, so good. I've, I've gone against them the past couple of weeks or past, past couple of rounds, like thinking, shit, they can't keep this going, but I'm going to back them now. And me backing them is probably going to work against them. <laughs> but I'm backing the Canes. Canes in Canberra by 10. Holy. And then they'll go nine from nine. Crazy. Crazy. Then Highlanders versus Western Force in Dunedin. How good. Highlanders back at home. Um, they've got their halves back as well. Fakatavo starting again and Reese Patchell starting again. Those guys are in such good run of form at the start of the season. And then I think Patchell got injured, uh, but they're back now. So hopefully to pick up where they left off. Jonah Nareki rested. Um, Connor Garden Bashup gets the nod there at 11 for the in the starting lineup. And looking at force, unchanged. And why would you change anyone from last week's game? They pumped the Crusaders in Perth. Fantastic outing for them. Um, you wouldn't want to change anything. How good to get an unchanged team. And they just need to back up last week's performances. This is a perfect opportunity for them to show that, like, no, we can compete in super. The Western Force. Um, Kirkley Beale's been a whole, bring a whole different impact to that, to that team. So good to see, man. Islanders are at home, will be tough. The crowd will be pumping for them. Um, they're not in good form, though, where you look at um, force coming in with heaps of momentum and so much confidence. Um, oh, man, that Nick White, Donaldson, and Kirtley Beal effect in that back line, it's really, we're going to see them go for their second round. And let's see, man, because last week was the first time they, those three played together and they beat the Crusaders. So can they do it again? I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the force. I'm loving the force at the moment. They were my wild card at the start of the year. I'm going Western Force by three. 
<laughs> in Dunedin. <laughs> Holy. And then last game for the weekend for round 10. Reds versus the Blues in Queensland. Reds unchanged forwards. Tim Ryan comes in on the wing. And Josh Fluke is back in at 13. That centre pairing, Paisami and Fluke, been unreal for them. Blues, Perofeta still out injured. So um, Plummo sticks, sticks in at 10. Um, Lamb gets the nod over Clark in the back line. And the forwards go pretty, I'm pretty sure, unchanged. Um, and why would you, man? They put 30-something, almost 40 points, I think it was, on the Brumbies last week. You wouldn't change anything. Same with the Reds. You'd only have to change what if there was injuries. They put 30 points on the Highlanders. How good. Um, this will be another like massive game for both teams, for both their seasons, right at the top of the log, both of them. Uh, big Aussie New Zealand derby. Reds at home. Both teams coming off massive wins last week. This is going to be huge. I, honestly, I, I don't know who to pick here. I've, I, I have gone a golden point and then going and then Blues winning it late. But Red, Reds come out and win it. Like, that wouldn't shock me. So I'm not too sure then. There's a few Aussie, Dar Aussie New Zealand derbies this weekend. So it's Reds, Blues, that's the one. Highlanders Force, that's another one. Then you look Brumbies, Hurricanes, that's another one. Um, and Tars Chiefs and Rebels Crusaders. Whew, so many, man. <laughs> Let's go. How good. Um, let me know what you guys thought or what you think. What are your picks for this round, for round 10, leave it down here in the comments. Get involved. Have I missed something? Let me know. Hit that subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.